All right, what's going on, guys? In this video today, we're going to be basically leaving off where we were last video, uh, learning basic GitHub or Git Bash commands, learning how to link a project with GitHub and so forth. But today, we're going to be learning how to add a webhook into Discord just in case you want to share your code publicly. That notifies people in your Discord anytime you commit or you commit and push code. Um, so then they, like, they can update their project without needing to completely, I guess you could say, reinstall your source code or like yeah well re-download your source code um so we'll just get right into it so what i'll do is i'll create a class just call it test um and then i'll put i'll put a couple lines of code which is just i'll just comment all this like uh example and then what i'll do is i'll run git status and it it see it says like that i modified the source um test.java um, so that's what we want it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our GitHub project, like our actual GitHub project. Then we'll click settings, go to webhooks, add webhook. Now this is, you want to change this to JSON, and then we'll do all of this right now. So go into your Discord. You're on your Discord server. Click server settings, webhooks. Disable that real quick. Webhooks, create a webhook. Uh, we'll do GitHub. You don't have to. Um, and then just copy this. Save the general. And boom. And then what we'll do is you go back here into your project. Paste this URL. Remember to do this. Backslash GitHub. At the very end of the URL you paste in here. And then keep this like that. Keep that like that. Keep, and then just keep everything the default. And then do that. And now what we'll do is go back into git bash we'll do git commit dash m created webhook and then we'll do git push and then we'll just wait for that to push and there you go now it shows that you commit it or you pushed your code and you can go you can open it and it should it's not loading anyways this is the commit basically it would link you to right here it shows that you created your package or your, your class test um oh yeah that's right it um it ignores comments so um but yeah that's how you create a web a webhook and um, next video, I think I'm going to be talking about something somebody recommended me to do, and it's how to grab the main class uh, or the main instance from any class or how to link up like commands and event handlers in the main class so they register properly. Um, yeah, but just swing me some suggestions and I'll keep going with this. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. I'll catch you guys later. All right, peace.